Alright, welcome to this episode of Let's Play WoW. I'm Bill Snodgrass, and I'm, I'm triple boxing again. I've really kind of gotten into this triple playing three things at once, and uh, this time I'm, I'm not playing like in Pandera with my level 120s. These are, uh, these are characters that are at level four, they're questing. They're trying to level up. Um, so this is uh, a, a warrior, warrior who is um, level 112. Uh, the shaman is uh, was a 113. And uh, see, so I got a, a fire mage. I've never played fire mage before. One well, also 112. So they're on this quest line with Brother Pike, who strikes me as being a little bit creepy sometimes, but. That's just the way he is. Telia is over here making a lot of noise, and uh, we're supposed to go rescue Samuel. One of the things when you're playing playing the three at once, you get the sound sometimes three times, and it's it sometimes peer, appears very annoying. But we'll try to do the best we can. All right, so I've kind of come up with this from all that mining. I've come up with a system of getting these guys around involves getting them in the air there's uh, the follow logic doesn't always do so well when you're going from ground to air so sometimes i have to well i i don't have to but i always um launch them both off the ground got the warrior in in tank spec which is also something i've i've never done before is uh play a warrior in tank spec i, I haven't played a warrior very much at all um, but it has become kind of fun. Looks like we're fighting. I don't really get through the whole rotation on anybody because switching screens and everything. Um, but I do get kind of through some of the main attacks of the things. I got to find Brother William, Samuel Williams. He's been he's been messed up. Oh, look, I found him. Now I have to go rescue him. Um, I do want to go in with the tank first. Seems like a really good idea. Oh, may just caught outside. Let's see how this works. How about some shamanistic thrashing? I really have enjoyed playing the shaman. I used to play the shaman in... Um, the casting spec not the healing spec but now I'm in the melee the, the um, melee spec for the shaman and that is uh, been a lot of fun I've really enjoyed that looks like everybody's doing okay on my end of things Let's do this again. Now, could I do this faster with one? Could I could I take him down if I just concentrated on the rotation of one character at a time? I don't know. It's not as nearly as as interesting to me. Which is why I do it. I do it this way because it seems kind of fun. Oh, he thought he was a goner. He's going to go back. And then, then he gets really, he does really well here, but then he becomes like crippled after this. And you have to spend the rest of the quest line trying to take care of him. And uh, may just caught again. So I have, I have done this with the low, the low level characters. I've got this traveling sequence so that everybody follows the other person so no matter who starts moving whichever screen I start moving on the other ones will you know get in and I disrupted the ritual so the he's very ungrateful oh my mage just leveled up So I found playing the, the low ones that 
coming up with like a standard order is is kind of I don't know, crucial is not necessarily the right word, but it becomes very convenient to always know that you know like the tank is going first. That sort of makes sense. What is in his hand? I, I feel like. I must probably check my gear here. No, he's just got the quest item where he's getting rid of the disrupting the rituals. All right, let's disrupt some more rituals here. See how this one goes. Hmm. Got didn't do so well. I might. Oh, there's one of those things. I gotta click on a bunch of these things too. Naturally, when you're doing more than one at a time, the open spaces are much easier to to navigate but we are probably going to have to go into the hold of the ship tight corners they don't always do so well I could split them up and go different places I don't even know what that was. I think that was the wrong. Uh, that was a totem. I'm the mage is gonna do the uh, ritual while they fight these other. Oh, he's behind me now. That seems a little unkind. So the question is, is it worth it? Is it, you know, it may take me a few seconds, minutes longer to do each step of the quest. You know, looting takes longer. But that's, it's fun. And uh, I end up leveling three tunes at once, which is, there is sort of an advantage to that. Some quest activities are like that one. One click counts for everybody. And I need to disrupt some more rituals and kill some more people. The kills count for everybody. Some of the old quests, however, the uh, quest items are only, like, each person picks them up and then they disappear. I feel like uh, Warlords and Beyond, the quest items... If Either they count for everybody or they don't disappear. Oh, we got some more rituals here. Break these up. While she's doing that one, she'll do this one. A fanatical acolyte. Nothing seemed to happen. And I kind of recall this glitch. Um, when these two were right beside each other in other other times coming through this quest line where it only worked for one of them and not the other I don't know don't know about that uh, let's see uh, let's go over here and break up the ritual she'd stop going behind me All right, we got all of our rituals done. We just need to kill a bunch of people. There's only certain places, certain contexts where you can say we just need to kill a bunch of people and get away with it. And you know, video games is is one of those contexts. Yeah, I'm gonna go out here and see if I can kill some people. Can't say that everywhere you go. Oh yeah. And of course, the mage is trapped. Let's 
Three more. He needs to target something first. Uh, let's see. Well, it looks like there's a... He's too far away. I could do heroic leap. That's a cool. That's a cool thing. I started playing my orc in. Uh, I think I played him first in in uh, protection spec. There we go. And it was just. It was just a ton of fun. Um, I kind of got onto it when I, I have a, a Death Knight and a Demon Hunter that are playing together. Actually, I have two Death Knights and two Demon Hunters playing together, which is a kind of a weird coincidence. So this is what I mean by um, the flying thing. I always hop them both up and then do follow, because sometimes if you're not flying when you do the follow, um, it just won't. It'll, it, the follow will break. Let's see, did we get all this whole quest set? I think we did. We got them all. Everybody got them all. Well, let's go over and turn this one in, and then we will we will get out of this video. I hope this has been in, enjoyable, uh, in you know, to see that the methodology works. Um, it works for the high levels as well as the low levels. I. I I've been having a lot of fun with, with the sets of, of low-level characters that I've been playing. I haven't made the videos for them all, but um, we'll go uh, back here and, and bow out. But yeah, it has been uh, a lot of fun to, to play the, the three sets, and we'll let Gatala give us a bow out. Thanks for watching. We will see you in... That was so nice to do it again next episode. Thanks.